turn now to the data leak bombshell causing shockwaves across the world. The so-called ICA files. The disclosure of a... You win. So... What happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know. Most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered, he is unstoppable, and he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards, and I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me. Found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Harold. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my side for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Two decades. Valentina must be over the moon today. about John stepping down. She's been living alone here. Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates. I see your invitation, please. 
Gracias, señor. Enjoy the party. Hey, how are you? I didn't recognize you. Let me sign you in. Luther, Burnwood's flying soil. I want all eyes on her. Let's see what she does. And Luther, deploy the burns and key in on the party area. Whisper to Vin. Too many blinds for help. Anyone as much as sneeze in the wrong direction, I want to know about it. They're all done. And I see your tour guide is none other than Gabriel Vargas, the state's chief winemaker. Well, this is a rare privilege. You and Lord Yates must be very close. Yes, about 400 meters, I should say. Pardon me? Never mind. I'll just wait here for my companion. Carry on. See that guy over there? That's Don Yates' fixer from New York. That? Is Corvo black? Don't stare. He's busted heads for this. That means a beast. That's right. Yates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Want to see the tag along? Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh, well, have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. Makes a private tour of the estate. Diana. Vidal and this fixer, Corvo Black. Black is a threat, but also an opportunity. Yates sentimental. Mr. Yates. Yeah, I got your message. You aren't telling me what I'm. Nothing quite spoils a party like okay. this. It's inexplicably dropping dead. Yeah, probably well, an accident. A couple of old money In fact, a couple of spots come to mind. On the tour or after. I stand by. So you're not sure yet? Does that mean there's a plan A? One where I don't stand a 50-50 chance of getting caught? I mean, you do realize the risk here, boss. Broad daylight, workers around. Who exactly is this burn? But if I'm going to be one of these heralds of yours, you need to start letting me in on a few things. Okay. So who's this fool I'm more of a fear than myself. Nah. Nah, no problem. I just never framed an urban legend before. Very post truth. Yeah. I like it. He is Edward's closest legal advisor. Not even Thomas. or Eugene Cobb had a direct line of contact. I'd say Yates is at the top of a very short list. So, how do you feel about her? How do you think? She and her friends don't be on the bus. Probably rock Tell me you didn't, Pablo. Tell me you didn't forget us, Okay. 
I didn't forget the Asado torch. I dare say congratulations. Looking good. Hello there, and welcome to the Yates Winery. How may I help you? Corval Black. I'm on the tour. Right, Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. One of the most gifted surveillance specialists. Ah, hi there. We lucked out. Heralds say a handful of operatives were lost, but I figure they're down there. Is everything all Sorry to burst your bubble of finely aged cynicism. Come, Mr. Chico. Not out. Over here. You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's the ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. Atta boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive as that may be. Don't hold that was breath. a bit rude. Yeah. Yes, it was. Huh? What? What is he now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them the grand tour, remember? As if I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialite friends. It's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. Don't want to get on the bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the crop is right for picking. Bring me the three Malbec grapes to taste, Ramon. If Yates doesn't like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? <laughs> Three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife.
still a fat lady sings. And she ain't singing no more. about your boy Leandro throwing his knee out yesterday. What? You stand back. I'll see what it was. Ah, okay. Just do your thing. Okay. Ah. Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good. Bring him here. Now, let's see. You're much better now. A lovely inky black color. Good size. Large and firm. Seeds brown. Excellent. And finally, taste. Mm. Sweet, flavorful, robust tannins. Some floral notes. Marvelous. Why? I say these grapes are ripe for harvest. And for the workers, will you, Ramon? I... I have a third to contact. Will do. What's up, yo? Ah, my fellow wine lovers. Hello. Welcome to Viñeda Yates. I do apologize for the delay, but the Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief wine maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this year's crop. Great expectations. Como estas? So how do you like Argentina? Like everywhere else, full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on steaming every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including an industrial-sized freezer unit 
with glass, with no least, our trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes to its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol, in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser for the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? How about you, Mr. Black? You look like you have something on your mind. I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. What can you tell me about this device? Great presser, was it? That is correct, senor. After primary fermentation, the mass is pressed through a fine filter, leaving only the flesh and skins behind. I should add that grape stomping, the iconic practice of crushing grapes with your bare feet, is historically red and mostly a tourist gimmick. But you are most welcome to try. Imagine you're a grape. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pass. Go on. I'll take a picture of the three of you. Oh, come on, Tamara. When in Rome. Fine. Say que so. May I see that, Mr. Vargas? I believe I blinked. This is what the little guy feels like. Nope, all good. Looks like one for the mantle. Now, are there any more questions? Don't be shy. I got all I need. Are you enjoying yourself, Mr. Black? Oh, it's all very inspiring. One making is like crabs. Sure, sure. Everyone talks about craft beer these days. You can make this an IPA in your pantry. It is. Oh, this is my friends. This is true grandeur. Excelente. So let's continue to the barrel room. If you'll follow me. And so we arrive to our final stop, the barrel room. This is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious bottles, including a 1945 Grand Paladin, the most expensive wine in existence. The access doors, which are made yeah, from ballistic glass, can only be unlocked from the security room high above our heads. Remarkable. Here comes Senor Yates now. I shall leave you in his capable hands. How reassuring. Ah, Miss Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As Chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little herald get-together up at the house. Just a modest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine herald once the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way. 
into the lion's den. <laughs> Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done here for now, I think. Oh, but don't go too far. I may still need your services later. I'll be closer than you think. Oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin to bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What makes you think we have the right clearance? Mr. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. But did aliens land on the front lawn? Have the ghosts of Jesus, John Lennon, and Ava Perone unexpectedly come for dinner? Help me out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. A meeting in the root cellar. I'm judging from Yates's choice of wine, some type of celebration. Likely a gathering of heralds come to congratulate Yates on his upcoming promotion. Just fetch it already. Fine. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. If you have to look it up, shame on you. I could use a smoke for me right about now. I wonder what the whole thing is. Right? I can't even get a second drink. I'm an empty stomach. Right, Patron. 
I'm fine, Santino. It's just the 1945 Grand Paladin. It is perfection, irreplaceable. You don't drink the 1945 Grand Paladin any more than you would write a shopping list on the Mona Lisa. Oh, men like Don Yates know the price of everything but the value of nothing. I'm sorry about that. Say, what if we exchange the labels? Served him a different wine. Ah. You are devious, Santino. Bullshit.
¿Cómo estás? and get yourself a guard outfit. Yates won't be long. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. Muerto, he's dead. It's bad. We better be careful. Someone did this. Please help!
Miss Burnwood. You rolled out the red carpet just for me? Don, you shouldn't have. So confident, even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. No, oh, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale, and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. <laughs> Well done, 47. Better get rid of the body. It won't be long before they come looking. When you're done, meet me on the dance floor. Oh, and dress appropriately.
I was third in the line of succession after Robert and Pierre and It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47.